let's talk about modern portfolio theory and how we use modern portfolio theory to craft our three portfolios. Now here we have a risk and return graph and on this graph we can plot any investment in the world. So we'll start off with plotting some bonds and then we'll move into some riskier assets, some stocks and then we'll move into even riskier assets like tech shares or biotech or things like that. Now once we have all of the investments in the world plotted, we can actually create what's called the efficient frontier. Now it's called the efficient frontier because you always want a portfolio that's on the frontier. For example, if you have this investment or this one, which one would you choose? Well, they both have the same return, but this one has less risk. So you'd always want to push your investments to the left or up. And the way you can get to the efficient frontier is by maximizing your diversity. Now on the efficient frontier, we could actually find three very interesting points. The first point is right around here. Now modern portfolio theory calls this the tangency portfolio. It's the point on the efficient frontier where you maximize your ratio between risk and return. Our core portfolio is our interpretation of the tangency portfolio. We find another very interesting point right here. Modern portfolio theory calls this the minimum variance portfolio. We call this our strategic portfolio. It's our interpretation of the minimum variance portfolio. This is our low risk portfolio. Now there's one more point. It's right about there. This is called our tactical portfolio. And this is where we're trying to increase risk but still maximizing our diversity to stay on the efficient frontier. We're trying to take more risk in an effort to garner more return. This is modern portfolio theory, and this is how we implement it at Beta Frontier.